Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy back at it with another video. Uh, my name is Danny from Ohm Demon Vapes and today we're going to be reviewing this little fellow. This is the Vandy Vape Full Steam Ahead Mini Coiling Kit. So join me right after the intro and we'll take a look at this. <laughs> Yo, what's going on people? Welcome back to the channel and this video. As I said before the intro, today I'm going to be showing you this little coiling kit. I picked this up from uh, my local vape shop and I paid, I think it was $13.50. Um, but I have seen this online for between... 8 and 15 pound um, Grey Hayes have it now for 8 pounds 50 if I remember rightly and to be perfectly honest for what you get it's pretty good value for money it does have its advantages and it also has the disadvantages and what we'll do is we'll get up close with this kit and I'll go through each and every one of the things in it. I'll also talk about the things that are not in it. Um, and we'll do the pro and cons list. So, I'm going to cut this video right now. Whilst we go up and close. See you in a mo. Welcome back guys. Just going to move a few things round. So, as I said, we're going to be looking at the Bandy Bait Full Steam Ahead Mini Coiling Kit. So, in this kit, you get long nose pliers, you also get wire cutters, you get long nosed angled tweezers. You also get a set of fold away scissors and three sets of screwdrivers, two of which are Phillips of different sizes and one being a flathead. Just going to zoom out a little bit. Ignore my desk. I've not got a big posh vaping studio. Um, so yeah, good things. You get every um, relevant item that you need for coil building, so that's a plus. Um, another plus is that it's small and compact and easy to carry around, so if you do a lot of travelling or you stay in a hotel for a while or you go into a friend's house or a relative and you don't want to lug around all of your gear and big coil master kits, that will fit in your missus's handbag and she wouldn't even know it and as I say you get your wire cutters so that's a plus you get your angle tweezers and long nose pliers along with your screwdrivers and scissors to be brutally honest I think that's probably about it for the pros um, that I can think of. Cons, con number one, you do not get a set of these in it. These are ceramic tweezers. I bought these separately from eBay for around three pounds. Um, and I just leave them in there next to the angled tweezers. That's con number one. Con number two, you do not get any form of coil jig. This was a cheap one that I bought from another local vape store. I paid £1.50. And again, that sits next to the angled tweezers. Now, 
For another con, I was going to state that you do not get any sort of ohm reader with this, but having a look at the package, there'd be absolutely no way you could even fit an ohm reader in there. And to be honest, a lot of us have regulated devices anyway, so we can just use those to sort of read the ohms of our devices. So, yeah. Lack of ceramic tweezers goes against this, in my opinion. A lack of any kind of coil jig also goes against these. Now, I have used each item to its potential. The screwdrivers I've found to have been high quality. Each screwdriver has this knurling right around the shaft of the screwdriver which helps grip it when you really need to get a tighten on it. The top bit spins freely which also helps when you're tightening and the tip unlike a lot of the optical screwdrivers that you do get these are actually um, hardened steel so they, they won't bend or crumble when you need to get right in and tight at least, not in my opinion, they don't. Angled tweezers. I can't fault these. In fact, I rate these at a better quality than the Coil Master's counterpart. Um, with the Coil Master one, the metal feels thin and flimsy and they bend a lot when you're using them, whereas these feel quite thick. And they just all around feel better in the hand and a higher quality for what you're going to get really. The wire cutters, well, they fucking cut wire to be honest with you. <laughs> They're nice and sharp, good quality. The only thing that's slightly annoying is they're supposed to spring back. And they do, but only just. In fact, this is the first time they've started springing back. I've been using this kit now for over a week, and it's only just got, there you go, stuck. I'd imagine with frequent use, they will become looser. Now, everything's been pretty good, really. Uh, the, the one slightly annoying thing, which is probably a bit pathetic, really, is how everything goes in. It doesn't go as neat as I'd like it to, but hey ho. On those pliers, they do spring back. However, the quality of them, in my opinion, is very poor. The teeth are barely even there. You can't see through the camera but there's quite a large U-type groove running right the way through. And also, they haven't been cleaned up very well. They're covered in like a black ashy tar. So, if you were to use these, I would seriously recommend giving them a damn good scrub with a wire brush. Just so that all this black, tarry stuff doesn't come off on your coils or your cotton, really. But, other than that, I suppose they do the job. What else? This is the best con ever. Scissors fold away. Blades made of metal, handles made of plastic. Really, 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 really cheap feeling to them. The plastic wobbles about all over the place when you're trying to use them. And the main thing, do they cut cotton? No, do they hell. They don't cut cotton at all. In fact, I have some tissue paper here. And... They don't even cut tissue paper. So if they won't cut thin ply tissue paper, you've got absolutely zero fucking chance of these cutting any of your bloody cotton. Thankfully, eBay's your friend and you can get a set of these for like three quid, which I've also done. 
they were just a complete waste of time to put in there, really. But hey ho, it is what it is. So I'll tidy this little shizzle up. We'll come back up to the top and I'll give you my last brief thoughts and we'll go from there. That is my thoughts on the Bandy Vape Mini Coiling Kit. Let me just hit this shit. Hopefully got a review of this coming for you soon. Yeah, buddy. So, with the pros and cons being out there, a quick run back over them. Uh, pros, nice and small, easy to carry around with you. Does tend to have all the important things that you would need, minus maybe a coil jig and a ceramic set of tweezers uh, but other than that you do get everything you need and it's cheap averaging between 8 to 15 pounds depending on where you buy it from um, and for the most part the items seem to be of a good quality apart from the scissors if you are going to buy this kit I would highly recommend buying a different set of scissors immediately I wouldn't even waste your time waiting to see whether they're any good or not Um, so yeah, with that being said, it does come in useful, I will continue to use it. Would I run out and buy it again knowing what I know now? Yeah, I would. For the price really, you can't, you can't really go wrong. So with that being said, I'm Danny from Home Demon Vapes. You've been watching me chat shit. Hope you enjoyed me chat some shit, and I hope you tune in for the next video. Ta-ra for now, and I will see you shortly. Remember, vaping saves lives, don't be a dickhead. Yeah.